don't matter because um uh, no okay <laughs> what up We went to uh, Universal Studios, and, uh, you know, man, I ain't never done nothing. Like, all I've ever been to was, uh, like, uh, uh, Oaks Park. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? right. And, and those of y'all that grew up here in P-Town with uh, me and Jeezy, uh, y'all know that Oaks Park, you know, ain't really much as far as, uh, you know, a, a, a amusement park. Right, but well, when you little, little it is. Well, when you growing up here, you know what I'm saying. That's all you know. That's all you know. the zipper, right? <laughs> the zipper, the zipper, and and the little uh, uh, roller coaster that they had. Then they had the octopus thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and and then now they got that new, uh, that new. Um, it's like a roller coaster. Oh man! Right, right. I thought it was gonna be cheesy. Oh man. oh man, get me off this thing. Yeah, right. What you said, get you off get of it. Get my old butt off of here. Ah, shit, man. Start like turning blue. Mm-hmm. We did it real big, though. You know what I'm saying? How we do it, Gigi. We, uh, we did the uh, VIP experience. Okay. That's oh, man. Good. I'm telling you, I didn't wait in line for nothing. 
You hey, hear me? Hey, Nada, one tank. Straight to the front. Straight on to the ride. You know what I mean? See, I Wrote didn't... everything they had. No. Everything, bro. My favorite was the mummy, though. That was that real deal. Uh, the Rodney? mummy? Yeah, what, the mummy. what was that? Oh, you know, remember that movie, The Mummy? Yeah. So it's a roller coaster, and it takes you around through it, man, whipping and dipping and turning and spinning and things. And uh, it also had, you know, had screens up that kind of made you feel like the mummies is coming after you. Then they had some ones coming out, man. It was off the chain. I'm telling Hey, I'm hooked now. I'm talking about we're, we're, we're Six Flags. Where's where's the you know some other ones? I'm hooked. You know, oh bro, it was it was it was off the chain. I'm serious, man. And uh, then we uh, they fed us lunch. We had lunch at like a uh, margarita factory they had there and stuff. And I can say that was about the only part about it that was kind of crazy, man. Was uh, you know, we went to sit in there and sit down, and then we had to wait for the waitress. I actually had to get up and go get them. Hey, you know, can we get our order in? You know right. Because we don't want to miss any more. Then they also had, uh, I'm trying to put this down a bit. They also had uh, uh, the tour of Universal Studios and stuff like that, where they make the TV shows and commercials. And we went on the actual, uh, it wasn't a live set, but it was a, Sound house, mm-hmm. you know, where they be putting boards up, put it up. Oh man, it was, it was walk from outside to inside, dead quiet, dead quiet in there. So, you know, for me, being an engineer and stuff, it was, it was real tight to see how they, right, right, right. how they do that. But then they took us on the, the, uh, the lot where, uh, Back to the Future was filmed. You know what I'm saying? They still have that. It was telling us different stuff about how they set that all up and for different shows. And stuff. Okay. It was, man, it, nice weather. You know, I I also actually saw the um, Hollywood sign mm-hmm. that's on uh, you know that's on the mountain there on the side mm-hmm. there in Hollywood. I personally have ne- never seen it face to face or live. You know what I mean? Right. So that was you know that was good. Got to drive around Long Beach. That's what's up. Yeah, man, it was that's chill, man. Up. It was nice, chill. You know, but I'm back at it on the grind, on the grind. Oh yeah, you know oh saying? yeah. Back in there chilling. Actually, we we uh, we watched the show from down there with Cam and stuff, you know. And That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Members and things. Yeah. Well, welcome everybody to the Mike and June show. Ooh, Saturday. Saturday is Saturday. The sun is out a little bit. A little, a little bit. rain, you know. Yeah. It was but kinda... we, you know, we five hundred three. We ducks. We, you know, we, we can handle that. Keep it moving. We can <laughs> handle that. We got some local. We got some national. Mm-hmm. Uh, we mm-hmm. might even have some Grim Reaper. Mm-hmm. You never know. You never know. On the Mike and June show. Mike and June with the <clears throat> gr- Reaper, the ghetto Grim Reaper. So we're going to start this one off. Uh oh, got him. Got him. <laughs> a Multnomah County judge on Monday delivered a guilty verdict to Robert Arthur Plimpton, 60, mm. for the 1980 murder of Barbara Tucker near Mount Hood Community College. Man. It marks the conclusion of Gresham's oldest cold case murder. Cold case. On January 15, 1960, Barbara Tucker, a student at Mount Hood Community College, was kidnapped, sexually assaulted, and beaten to death near a campus parking lot <clears throat> by Plimpton. Amen. In 2000, vaginal swabs taken during Tucker's autopsy were sent to the OSP crime lab for analysts. Right. The crime lab developed a DNA profile from the swabs. <clears throat> in 2021, a genealogist mm-hmm. identified Robert, Robert Plimpton as a likely contributor to the unknown DNA profile developed in 2000. Mm. So detectives with the Gresham Police Department found Plimpton living in Troutdale and began conducting uh, surveillance. Yeah. Uh-oh. When they saw Plimpton spit a piece of, gu- of chewing gum onto the ground, <laughs> detectives collected the gum and submitted it to OSP Crime Lab. Oh. The lab determined the DNA profile de- developed from the chewing gum <clears throat> matched the DNA profile developed from Tucker's autopsy. On June 8, 2021, <laughs> Plimpton was arrested, <laughs> found guilty of one count of murder in the first degree and four counts of different theories of murder. In the second degree. Right. That, hey, man. DNA, Dana. Stop baby. spitting stuff out on the ground. Dana. 
He gets they, say, they say that uh, that's theirs. That's public. Hey, hey, yeah, you throw it away. You throw it, you throw it yeah. away. Even your garbage. But man, you know you did something like that. You can't forget that you did that, I'm thinking. Bro, he was, you know he was scot free. He wasn't that scot free. He, he thought, thought he was. was. Oh, man. What, what was it, 19 what? 60. You know, to now? Come on. He ain't hey, been nobody looking for him. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But again, in, up here, Ooh. you know you did it. That is definitely like some law and order. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know oh, yeah. That's my show. Some, that's some, my oh, show. some gum. <laughs> oh, gum. Some gum. Uh, and they, they, they even took one off of a uh, little ball. They took the kid's ball and stuff that was outside. So, yeah, they going to get you if you know you did it. Right. I personally wouldn't have been around the town. I don't care how long. I'm not going to be in the vicinity of where the activity is. You know what I mean? But that's me. That's me. Hey, 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 hey. But that's what gets you. That, that's that's what going to show you. You can run, but you can't hide. You can run, but you, you can't know. hide. Man, man, man. Bad boys is coming for you. you can hide. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Right, we got right, the... Uh, right, right. Let's see. On the, on the good foot? Is that what you got next? No, it's... Uh, oh, no, sorry. My bad, my bad. Oh, shit. Okay. So, uh... What's this, Roomies? Yeah. Undertaker Music. Oh, okay, ready? I'll get you some music. No. Oh, Lord. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, we just chilling, man. That's my music. Oh, uh, this is oh, uh, this is when you know it's Undertaker shit. Mike coming up with. Be ready, be ready, <laughs> be ready. Here it comes. What? Okay, Portland, Oregon. Straight out of Portland. Coming straight out of Portland. Uh, a fifty-two-year-old man is dead, and another man was arrested after a shooting in Mill City. On Wednesday, according to the Lynn County Sheriff's Office, after about 11 p.m., deputies respond to reports of a shooting at a house in the 300 block of Northeast Alder Street. They found Brian Rendum of Mill City dead at the scene. After an initial investigation, deputies said they found 50-year-old Benjamin Harris, also of Mill City, allegedly shot Rendon what? Uh, shot Weldon, uh, Rendon, excuse me, while at Harris's house. Harris and Rendon knew each other, uh, knew each other, and had been roommates at the house. Deputies say that's cold. They gonna shoot the roommate? Why you shoot the roommate? Well, you give him a thirty day notice. Thirty day notice. Get out. It, <laughs> hey, go. ten day, ten hour, two hours. So they gonna shoot the they right. shoot him. That's cold. That's I'm scared of them too, though. Hey, a lot of times, though, when you shoot somebody like that and you know them, yeah, you kind of scared of it. You scared, really scared of the consequences. No, you are scared of the consequences, so you break out the equalizer because you know because <laughs> if you know it's fisticuffs, right? You know you're gonna you probably gonna lose. All right, you know what I'm saying? Because you know the guy. <laughs> you know the guy. You but know, still, he, you ain't gotta shoot him, man. Man, wildin', wildin', wildin'. Mm. Our age, wow. no, no, right, right. You just gonna shoot them now at this age, man. You, hey, man, for a one on one crime like that, for me to be involved, you got to really done did something, right? And that ain't that goes way beyond the roommate, shit. Mm -hmm. you know, you gotta, man, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta disrespect, you gotta to disrespect, the, to the disrespect. Tenth you tenth power to, right? What do you say to the 10th power? To the 10th power, like, yeah. for my kids. But back in the day, if you stepped on my shoe, it'd have been a Another story, but, oh. <laughs> but right. now you know what I'm saying, right? Double you nickel, did. you know what I'm saying? I'm different. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm, I'm different. different, right? I'm different. Yeah. I'm different. Yeah. I'm different. Hey. All right, I got but. the next one coming straight out of Multnomah County. Coming straight out of the county, Multnomah. Now is. this is another friend type uh, story. <clears throat> the body of a 61 year old. 61. Hiker was found by Multnomah County Sheriff's Office mm -hmm. rescue team Saturday afternoon at Horse Tail Falls. Right. At around 10 p.m. Friday, the sheriff said a group of friends. A group of friends. 
reported the woman had not returned from her planned hike. Mm -hmm. the, the caller said they found the hiker's car in the parking lot at Horsetail Falls Trailhead. Right. Gresham Police Department also helped look for the woman using drones to search the vast area. Mm -hmm. The sheriff's office said the hikers did not have her cell phone with her, making it impossible to find her location through cell towers. Right. By Saturday, more than 50 people were involved with the search, using tracking dogs and drones. At about 12.30, the hiker's body was found at the bottom of the cliff near Horse Tail Falls Trailhead. Right. They said the medical examiner's office has taken the custody of the hikers in Maine and will determine the official cause of death. Uh, determined, you know what you mean. Fail. <laughs> Fail. Impact, grab it. Man, he was trying to get that money. He getting that money, though. He getting he that said, money. He said, give it up right now. I need all of it. Man. Uh, and man. what I don't uh what I don't understand is if you're with a group of friends, where is the group? And why are, <laughs> why aren't you with the group? Why aren't you with the group? At least three or four people. <coughs> At least two. Right, right. Other than you. Other right. than you. You yeah. need somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. you in the elements. Uh, was it 60? You 60 years old? Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yeah, because you're supposed to, they say, go with a friend. They mean your buddy. Your right. Team up. You yeah, know? Exactly. Not just two folks. You say you're with your group of friends. You know what I'm saying? Friends like them, you don't need no enemies. None. Because they, oh, where's, you don't need that where's Henry? Where's Henry oh, at? Who, where, who? Oh, yeah, I forgot about him. Oh, he fell. <laughs> Find him the next day. Uh, next day at the bottom of the ravine, that's cold. That's man, cold. Man, that's crazy, man. Hey, I, hey, hey, I don't got some folks up in here. Y'all holler at us. In the live chat, in the right chat there, man. Room. Let us know where you are at. What's Let up, where you are at. You know what I'm saying? It's we Saturday. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, it's one of them chilly, chill, hangout type Saturdays here. Oh, yeah. I'm mad at it. I'm mad at it. I don't, know. Mad at we it don't know how uh, warm it is anywhere else. You know, I ain't mad either. Slow it down, man. I'm tired. Right. I came back from vacay and jumped right back into work. Worked some 12 hour shifts and, you know, all that, man. I'm, I'm tired. Right, right. Say TGIF or yeah, TGIS, the weekend, right? you know. Thank right. God it's Saturday. I can chill and relax, you know. We got Janelle saying, what's up? Hey, fellas. What's up, Janelle? What's up, we Jay? love you, girl. Again, thank you very much for covering in for me last week. Oh, yeah. We, it was we, a good show. Yeah, she's a star. She's definitely a star. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. see. Uh, I got this one, On the Good Foot. On the Good Foot. Coming straight out of Aloha, Oregon, y'all. Coming straight out of Aloha, Oregon, that is. An Aloha man was arrested last Friday after he lured a woman to his home. Uh-oh. Deputies got a call from the woman about her encounter with 55-year-old Jimmy Jen Liu. Jimmy Jen Liu. The woman reported that she responded to an ad on Craigslist looking for a housekeeper mm -hmm. and ultimately went to Liu's home in Aloha. Right. Not long after she arrived, Liu subjected the woman to unwanted contact by grabbing her bare feet mm -hmm. and rubbing them on his face. Uh, yeah, on their feet, on their feet. According to the Burger. according to the sheriff's office, the woman then left the home and called the police. During the investigation, <laughs> deputies discovered that there was another woman who reported similar behavior right. by mm -hmm. Lou in February 2024. This person was also responding to an advertised seeking in a housekeeper. Uh, let's see. Uh, Louise, uh, Lou's nasty ass was arrested at his <laughs> home and booked into the Washington County Jail for harassment right. and sexual abuse in the third degree. He was arraigned on Monday, March 18th, and the additional charges of attempted sexual abuse in the third degree and attempted mm. harassment were added. Mm. Investigators have discovered that Lou has an expansive presence on social media. He has shared content seeking a housekeeper mm -hmm. since as early as 2017. Oh, he's been getting feet. Lou has advertised math tutoring service to children as well. <laughs> See? He, hey, man. See? He rubbing. He wallet. He rubbing feet on the face. Now, what, now, what else is he doing? Now, can I intervene here? What? Can I intervene here? <laughs> 
And that'd be the foot doctor, the foot fungus, the whatever. Foot fungus. Uh, whatever. Right. Why are your feet bare? Right. Why, if you're going, if you're cleaning the house, why do you have bare feet? It's, well, yeah, that's, yeah. Okay. I'm with you on that. What? And, 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 you know what I'm saying? How do you get your foot? And then, you? and then if he's got, if he's rubbing your funky feet in his face, face. Right. How come you ain't kicking him? That's what I'm wondering. Like, how do you get someone's feet? If somebody, if he's got your, your feet face. in your face. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, you get, get, off me. To get off me! Right. That's the that's the hey, first line of defense. I mean, but yeah, that's your re reaction. That's your reaction. Yeah. Well, folks, you know. But how if you get your shoes off? You ain't would you you come there with no socks on too? <laughs> you gotta help me understand how you got barefooted. <laughs> first of all, you right. better say, "Oh, good." Yeah. Take your shoes off. If you're on the jury, you wonder how yeah. did you come you can't, become you can't. shoe and sockless? And where's your mace at? And, <laughs> Where is your mace? <laughs> but you coming to do some I don't care. Where's your mace? You oh. don't know this guy from Adam. See? Okay, look. He could have put you down in the torture chamber. You okay. don't know. So now, was she already cleaning the house? I, looking for a housekeeper. They say he was just looking for one. Well, no, he had an ad. Right. And she came, and she came an to answer the ad. Yeah, I'm here to clean your house. With no sh socks and shoes no on. Sock. Maybe she had flip flops. You know, they didn't went to women folk that went to flip flops for dress shoes or cross house shoes. But yeah, I just yeah. don't understand that how you get your shoes off. That's what <laughs> how I you get the bare feet to the face. Right, right. Hey, anybody, somebody type in how do you get to the bare foot? It can make sense. Though. You know, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I understand he probably did that or whatever, but but yeah, it's the setup. How you get to that how point? How did you get your shoes off? How did he get your shoes off? That's just like, how did he get your pants off? How did he get your panties off? Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because we can understand getting you to the room or you come into the house. Right. But how does all the, the clothing come off for you to be violated? And, and like you're saying, you're not putting up any resistance. If somebody grabbed my foot, the doctor and all, I'm watching, like, what are you doing? In the doctor's office, you can understand that. Right, right. You know what I mean? He's testing something or, her, or whatever, you know. But if you just said somebody said, I mean, I don't like coming to your house to take my shoes off, put my feet up. You know? Yeah, I might want to smell my toes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, I mean, that's where, yeah, that's where. That's, but dude, he, he do got issues. Oh, yeah, he got some he issues. issues. He probably putting other folks' feet And then other, the other, other folks probably ain't reported it because they got something out of it. Right. There's something going on. Right. See, you can't always just say somebody wilding and you done put yourself in that position. Mm -hmm. That's all. I mean, I ain't saying what he did was right or wrong or nothing. I'm just talking about the basic true fact. If you put yourself and get yourself in these positions and predicaments, you can expect that that's going to happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, I, I think the average folks is going to agree with me on that. If, if you go... To uh, a job job site with no <laughs> socks on. <laughs> no socks on. Something's wrong with you. Yeah. Yeah, for real. <laughs> okay. Something's wrong with you. I'm so I'm here to work. Uh, you ain't got to just say the socks. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, get your junk out of here with that funky feet. Right, right. Crested toes. Oh, my goodness. You can put on something on your face, though. That's. That's, right, that, right. that's a fetish, they but, say. Yeah, that's a fetish, but I'm going to fetish it out of you because I'm going to kick you kick right, right, in your, uh, right in your grill. <laughs> right where you you place my foot. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Right. Yeah, wait till you wait for it. Wow. Booyah. Gotcha. Gotcha. And so now we're going to go to Lincoln, Nebraska. We see, like you like said, we East Coast, West Coast, worldwide. We got national, local. But this is national news. Right. Uh, this one is called Ass, Gas, or Cash. Ass, Gas, or Cash. Nobody, you know what that is. Nobody rides for nobody free. Nobody rides for free. Come up with some. Empty handed ain't it. A uh, Nebraska woman allegedly found a lucrative quirk at a glass station pumping gas. Double swipe the rewards card and get free gas. Okay. The 45-year-old woman was arrested March 6th mm -hmm. and faces felony theft charges 
accusing her of a crime that cost the gas station nearly $28,000. Right. Prosecutors say the woman exploited the system over a period of several months. Okay. Po- police learned the problem in October when the loss prevention manager reported that the company's pump and pantry in Lincoln had been scammed. Mm-hmm. Fuel pumps at the station received a software update in November 2022 that managed, among other things, reward cards. Right. But the company was unaware of a glitch that allowed anyone swiping a reward card twice to put a gas pump into demonstration mode. Mm-hmm. In demo mode, the user could pump gas at no cost. Prosecutor said the loss prevention manager determined that one particular card has <laughs> been used repeatedly to obtain free gas. Mm. Police were able to trace the car to the sus- suspect, right. and video surveillance showed the woman pumping gas on multiple occasions from, right. from November 2022 until June 1st, when the glitch was fixed. How much she get them for? 28000 Twenty. Ooh. In gas. That's a lot of gas. Authorities believe the woman not only used the scam to get free gas, but, yeah. but she allowed other women to use her card for a free. Right. For a fee. For a fee. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the hustle. Right. But then the rat told police that she paid to use the card for a discounted fuel. Uh, the woman paid Thompson 500 for gas purchase that should have cost 700 <laughs> Right. So they already uh, hemmed up the old girl. Yeah, yeah. She squealed like a rat. Oh, yeah, you know, they all just do dirt by your loan. Because they will snitch you off. Man, man. quick, fast, and hurry. Oh, man. Oh, 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 I'm going to jail? No, I'm telling. And who's yeah. that on there? Somebody said something? Oh, no, I was just saying. Uh, oh, okay. Hey, uh, and then, uh, let's see. They said the, the card was used 510 times. Oh, man. And more than 7,400 gallons of gas was pumped. That's a, that's a lot of gas, dude. Free. That's a lot of gas. Free. But she's free on bond and has a court here in April 11th. So good luck to you, girl. Right, right. Yo, Scanzini. And see, that's the whole thing about it. You got away with it, and you just that's, kept going. That's where you guess. And then you got greedy, and then Get you greedy. started incorporating. That's the greedy. In- incorporating other people into yeah. your into your hustle. And now you really caught. Yeah. Now you caught up, and now, like I say, once you add somebody else into your stuff, it's out the window. Man, they gonna snitch on you. Man, it's you or them. You or them, for real. Oh so, man, I gotta. I got uh, I got another one here. How y'all doing out there? What up? Appreciate y'all What's for up? tuning in to the Mike hey, and Jim hey, hey, show. Hey, with the Mike and Jim. Man, I got this sure. one here coming out of Hollywood, Florida. Coming out of one Hollywood, of my Florida. Florida. People at like Slick Rick. Slick Rick over there. Some crazy people out in Florida, man. In Florida, you know, well, it's sunny over there, man. It'd be man, baking, it's baking, it's up. baking something. Right. Let's see a Florida, a South Florida middle school teacher. Teacher. She's a teacher. Is accused of having an inappropriate relationship Uh-oh. with a student. The Hollywood yeah. Police Department said on Wednesday, 39 year old Felicia Smith was a, by Felicia. By Felicia. Was arrested after she told a detective <laughs> she had a material relationship, a maternal relationship. Maternal. With a student at Driftwood Middle School. The school. Middle school? Yes, the school she worked at. According to the probable cause affidavit, on Tuesday, the student, who is between 12 and 16, told investigators she was forced, she was forced to inappropriately touch Smith and was kissed by by her. The kiss left a smart on the victim's cheek, the report said. Mm -hmm. The victim also told investigators the inappropriate behavior occurred at least three separate times. Time. Oh, so okay, wait a minute. See, here it again, setting it up. If it happens once and you don't want it, why do you go back two or three times? How does that happen? This is a this is a child. She's between twelve and sixteen. But still, you twelve and sixteen, that's a child. Ain't no but still. This lady is a shark. She's a fucking 
She's terrorizing the sea. And sea it, of children. Right. And the child ain't saying nothing to nobody till now. But I mean, that's what gets me, though. I, I mean, I'm just going to play devil's advocate across the board. But hey, if you, you know. I'm telling somebody something. But if you care about the teacher, you don't want the teacher to Man. get in trouble. But then you... But, then, but, but my thing is... But my thing is... Uh, you foul for... Yeah, no, we're going to start right there. Yeah, you she's, foul she's, she, and all she, get out for trying to cool. turn this little girl... Right. You know what I'm saying? Into something she made. Okay, so now wait. Now the victim is a girl too? Yes. It's and a the girl. the teacher's a woman. Yes, 39-year-old. She's foul anyway for yes, a, yeah. For First pushing right. up on a female, I mean a, a young a child. personal child. We were just gonna say just pushing up right. on a child, and then all the other stuff comes comes into play oh, as to why get your how blood come, and you know leave these kids alone, y'all. That I mean, uh, it just sets hard on me, man. Oh no, I feel you, bro. I that's feel not, you. you know that's what just I mean? not cool. It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, right. You got men out here. You got women out here. If that's what your pleasure is, right, right. That you can pay a little change for some strange. You don't have to. You don't have to pay. Right. You can find one. You can the the tenders, the whatever. uh, You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Whatever. Some dating apps and shit. Whatever. Hell, Facebook got one. Facebook. Yeah. Whatever. One night uh, stand. One. Yeah. One night. One night. One night or diners. But you know, it just to me, it's just. Yeah, man. It's a shame, man. It's, it really it, is. It, it, but, you know, that. I mean, the world is come, going, folks is going crazy, man. For no They're reason. going crazy for nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, oh excuse me. Start that. Oh, man, I was, man, I'm telling you, it's that kind of Saturday, man. Throw something in the crock pot and kick back. I don't know about y'all. You know what I mean? You sound like sleepy time for Oh, people. man, I can go to nap. I can take a nap. Don't get it twisted. Junks will take a nap only. Right. You know what I mean? I try not to. I try to stay turned up, but, you know, I do take a I nap. try to stay turned up. I try up. to stay turned up. I heard you got that. Uh, you got the next one. You got that ooh wee. Okay, ooh wee. That ooh wee. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. That's my my alley. That's not like... It sounds like it. We're going to see. Right? A California woman who fell into a pot... A pot... I'm sorry. Okay. (laughs) Fell into a pot-fueled psychosis after getting high on drugs and stabbed her boyfriend 108 times. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. She stabbed. She wasn't high. She was pissed off, a hundred and eight times. Okay, before before slicing her own neck. Oh, now that's high shit right there. That's being high. Slice her own neck as police try to stop her with uh, to stop her will not serve any prison time. What? A judge has ruled. Juror found Bryson or Brian Spegler, or I don't know his last name, a 32-year-old from Ventura County, guilty in December for involuntary manslaughter after she stabbed her boyfriend, Chad, something or other, 108 times while high on cannabis. He uh, he's he's stabbing he's stabbing took the stabbing took place. Uh, overnight between uh, in May, the 27th to the 28th, 2018, um, at the at the dude's house. Okay, <laughs> in thousand oaks. It's kind of hard to read this without laughing. I'm sorry, y'all. Both uh, both took several hits from the bomb. Hits from the bomb. Uh, took, uh, took both took several hits from from the bong with mar- marijuana. Wanna. Uh, the lady had had an adverse reaction to the marijuana and suffered from what experts call cannabis induced psychosis disorder. What the hell is that? I've never had. We going back. Before. Somebody look that up on on on, on Google out or something. Let us know. Uh, 
The state's mental health expert reportedly determined that as a result, she was unconscious. She was on that wing. While she stabbed her dude dozens of times. Dozens? That's way more than dozens. That's right. a hundred. Like eight times. My arm is hurting. You see okay. my demonstration? Yeah, I, I know. I did it hundred and eight times. My arm is hurting. Yeah, her muscles are hurting. I, 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 she was pissed off. It wasn't just she was hot. She was mad at this dude. No, no, it wasn't. I don't, I don't. Let me, let me finish reading okay, this. We yeah. gonna see. Okay. She also stabbed her dog. Okay, now we're into some high stuff. See? They stabbed the dog and turned the knife on herself when police arrived. That's so she could get out of this shit. Right. She's playing again. Right, right, yeah. That's a good, that's, in the that's early, good. In the early morning hours, the law enforcement arrived at the apartment to find her dude in the pool, in a pool of blood, and the lady screaming hysterically, with a knife still in her hands. Before law enforcement could disarm her, uh, let's see, the lady stabbed the, because I can't pronounce her last name, no, I ain't trying, you know what I'm saying? Stabbed, uh, plunged the knife into her own neck. Officers used a, a taser and several, and several, oh, uh, bottom blows, body blows, body blows, <laughs> before they were able to finally uh, disarm the lady, a.k.a. whoop that ass. <laughs> yeah, the body blow. The body blow, body blow. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Sorry, y'all. Uh, the charges were reduced, prompted, uh, prompted protests outside the courthouse where demonstrators claimed a uh, carried sign supporting the guy's family and de demanding a serious punishment from the judge. Judge Worley uh, during Tuesday's hearing, the court ultimately handed down a sentence of two years and probation and a hundred uh, two years of probation and a hundred hours of community service. Wait a minute. First of all, she stabbed the dude a hundred and eight times. A hundred and eight. Now, I don't know what anybody else thinks, but I'm saying she's beyond hot. Because I don't know anybody that would be high from hits from the bomb and then do something 108 times, unless they mad. More weed every day. Right. 108 times? 108 times. That's ridiculous. She's a whole one. Oh, but she more than that. She is pissed off, right? I just don't, I mean, to me, I mean, and you blame it on the weed, and like you said, Oh, and as soon as the police come, then you want to uh, turn on your neck. You didn't do too good of a job. You're still alive. Right, right. That was for, like you said, that was for three theatrics. Theatrics. Oh, I'm crazy. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I stabbed my dog and me. Oh, wait, oh, wait. So they said the help they came up with. Cannabis-induced psychotic disorder. Man. No, that, 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 she owned that Michael Myers. Bro. <laughs> That's that new strand. It's called Michael Meyer. You start chopping folks up. He said, but, it's that Halloween. But, that is that no weed. But, <laughs> hey, man. But, <laughs> you on that, that Michael Myers. Look, you, okay. Okay. All right. 108 oh, times, though, bro? Oh, man, my arm's starting to hurt now. You're going be, to be rough, tough, and some more stuff. Man. You know what I'm saying? Hot, 108 times. You're going to stab somebody. That is not the business. Mm -mm. And who's going to get high and, and step? I don't know. I don't know. It just... It don't make sense. It don't make sense. But she had to be hot at him about something. Again, there's oh, all yeah. the underlining, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. underlining information now, you that we know. don't know. You already know. You already hey. know. It, it, it's crazy, though. <laughs> uh, ben said, we we laced with PCP, right? That's, right? That's what I'm saying. That ain't just no regular that coin, that's bro. That, that's that Michael Myers. Hey, man, that's <laughs> not no <the> really <laughs> That's that Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees, you a fool. That's that. You nuts. That's you that. Nuts. Friday. Hey, the, that's that the, Friday the 13th. The 13th. <laughs> <laughs> episode 10. <laughs> no, episode 108. 108, you a fool. 108. 108 times. And did he live? I, I just. No, he died. Yeah, 108 times. Did he leak it everywhere? <laughs> did he 
live. Say, what's wrong with you? <laughs> hey, if she was on a cannabis induced psychotic disorder, man, I've been smoking weed. They, they got names for shit now, bro. I've been smoking weed for decades. Uh, ain't no way that had baby one time. They can't do nothing like, 108 times, but maybe some cookies. <laughs> Not even cookies 108 times. I don't even want to eat 108 cookies. You know, high. you know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Something Lee. is wrong. Hey, with, stay tuned. She gonna come out with a with a movie or a book or something. Come on, I, I was high 108 times. I stabbed because I got high. Ooh, I even stabbed him 108 times because, because I got high. high. Ooh. Nah, 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 now I'm in the jail, the jail and don't know why. Don't know why. Hey, 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 cause I got high because I got high and stabbed 108 times. I don't know. Even as a I was going to let Mike Myers, and when I got high, I stabbed his ass a hundred and eight times because I got high. (laughs) Now I'm in the courtroom, and I don't know why. Hey, hey, psychos, what is it, psychos? Psycho-induced. 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 (laughs) Psycho-induced. But all I gotta do is two years of probation. <laughs> you know, you know the parent, you know the family man. No oh, man, they the I would be mad. I, I, you know what? The judge is probably the dealer. The weed. Dealer. Right. Oh, but he has. <laughs> oh no, he not has, guilty. Not guilty. He can just do two years probation, probation and get back the just get just back some more of that Michael Byer. Get, yeah, get back on the block, get my money. <laughs> right. Yeah, you gonna be double time now. Get my money. You gonna be working for free. For free. A <laughs> <laughs> hundred and eight mf in time. Oh man. man, that I'm serious. I want to know what the underlying story is about. And I'm not just talking about being hot. There, she was hot. I mean, about something he did. He did something. And she just yeah. stabbed him once and it just fell And no, she got him high. She was high. And then said, oh, now's my opportunity. Er, er, er. And just went out, yeah, I got a bitch. And you stole my money, whatever she did. You know what I mean? Come on, y'all. Y'all got to agree with me on that. There had to be something major underneath that. That's crazy. You know, just this blow one, you know. And then now... You're going to, you know, it don't, oh, I'm going to stab you. That don't, it don't happen like that. I'll, from my In the history of me, I've, I've heard it I've all. never heard of that. I've heard it all. I've never heard of that. But they whooped that ass, though. They whooped her ass, though. Oh, yeah. They, oh, yeah. You know, kind of thing. They said she crazy. She crazy. And she had a knife man. They had probable cause. Beat the shit out of her. <laughs> oh man, this one right here. All right. This next one, y'all. All right. All right. All right. Craig, What's up, Craig, Craig, Craig. Who What's up, Jamming? Uh, shout out to everybody out there watching. We love whoa, y'all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Tell a friend. Tell a kid. It goes down every Saturday. Every Saturday, three o'clock. Put your lights up. Put your hearts up. Get yeah. the algorithm going. We appreciate it. We Let see it. it. We love y'all. Man, this next man. one, y'all. Is off the hook. This is like movie, um, made for, uh, made for TV, TV movie. movie type plots. Yeah, that always goes wrong. Always. I call this one ER in the ER. ER in the ER. Man, this is it. Uh oh. Uh, three correctional officers were shot. Coming straight out of Boise, Idaho. That straight out of Boise. Straight out of Boise. Straight out. Two by a suspect and one by responding police doing a brazen overnight attack to break a prison inmate out of an Idaho hospital. Wait a minute. Authority said Wednesday. You gonna break somebody out of the hospital? Oh, it's a prison hospital, right? No. Atta- oh, he's the at homie, the hospital. The homie's at the, at the, the hospital. homie's at the hospital. So we gonna go break him up. You know how we do it. Right, 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 right. So then... Who's, who's this? Seema. Who's Seema? Oh, that's music. Oh, is it? That's Mary Mary. Oh, Mary Mary. What? Okay. Hi, baby. She How you doing? Up from working out. Working out, girl. Get that workout, huh? Get that workout, huh? Uh, uh, so, yeah. So, uh, okay, back to the story. Back to the story. 
so the attack to break a prison out of Idaho hospital. We're going to go get that homie out of the hospital. Okay. Right. So police throughout the region were looking for the suspected shooter as well as the ex- escaped inmate, Skylar May, who was sentenced to 20 years in prison Ooh. in 2017 for Ooh. shooting at a sheriff sergeant during a high-speed chase. Okay. So he's yeah he he's knows the tor- yeah. yeah he got it yeah, yeah 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 right, he, right. he got a thing for that right the attack occurred at twelve or uh, excuse me at two fifteen a.m. as Idaho De- Department of Corrections officers prepared to bring me back to prison from Saint uh, Saint yeah, Medical just, Center yeah where they had taken them for an undisclosed condition mm-hmm. one officer shot by the suspect was in critical condition. Um, police said, while the second officer was let him have it. While the second officer, wounded officer, had serious but non-life threatening injuries. Right. The third injury occurred. The third injured correction officer also sustained life, non-life threatening injuries when a responding officer, incorrectly believing the shooter was still in the emergency room. And seen an armed person in the entrance open fire. Oh yeah. So he opened fire on the dude on his. Oh, his homie? Yeah. Oh. The police on police crime. So wait. So you gonna break the homie out? Yeah, they they try to break the homie, but I'm saying out of the guards that got shot. Right. One of what the guards got the... shot by another guard. Oh Lord have mercy. They shooting on each he, other. He's scared. He don't he just, go, you know what I'm saying? He's saying ah! What the heck? What the hell? What's going on? It's two in the morning! It's two in the morning! I'm shooting everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's two in the morning! Oh man. Oh. Let him have it. Team announced going back to Chicago will be a sixth round will be a sixth round pick in the 2025 NFL draft, according to ESPN Adam Schiff. Oh, Schifter, whatever you say. Mm-hmm. Uh, which could be which could become which could become a fourth round selection depending on Fields' playing time in Pittsburgh. Let me turn it over. Turn it over. All right. Russell Wilson, who the Steelers to the Steelers sign this offseason, will be Pittsburgh's starter and Fields the backup. They're gonna take, but well, let's 
I think that's good for him, though. That, yeah. I think yeah, because he can he, learn. He, he, learn. Doesn't have to, he doesn't have to. You know. Because that, 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 that quarterback. Who's the cop on cop, right? Who's the head? Remember. Right? Right. Oh, I, okay. I shot you accidentally. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but, no, uh, but with Justin, at least he can. Take a year to. Learn from Russell. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And maybe they'll put in some plays for him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Throw yeah. some packages. His way and stuff. And it, to mess up the defense, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, yeah. Maybe you play it. I might even throw you in for a quarter. Just to, you know. Hey, where's Fields coming from? Uh, Chicago. He was the, their number one draft pick when we picked uh, Trey Lance. Oh, oh. So they, okay. So this is his final uh, rookie contract, I think. Mm-hmm. Okay. And... Uh, you know, he, Chicago didn't do enough around him to uh, protect him. The offensive line was weak, treacherous. Yeah. He was always running for his life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, now yeah. he gets to go to Steelers. Steelers got a great defense. Yeah. Yeah. So they're trying to. They work. got a decent O line. Decent. Right, but they're trying to work. They're work. They're building that offensive side of the side way. of the uh, field. Yeah. So. He, um, and you never know. Russell could get hurt, you know, during the season. You know, right. he's not a young, spring, you know, no he's not a spring chicken. chicken. Yeah. So, who knows? Uh-huh. But it's a better situation than what he's at now. Right. Uh, right. Because that organization did nothing to help him uh, further his uh, quarterback career. Yeah. That, uh, that, that should be good. That would be good for him. Mm-hmm. You know, especially his last year as rookie. Oh, man. Exactly. You know, yeah. And then we got this next one. I got this next one. I I call it. How do you say fired in Japanese? Fire? You was fired? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Fire. Fire. The Los Angeles Dodgers has fired their interpreter. I ain't gonna say his name. Right. For Otani, uh, for Shoshani Otani, after Otani's representative accused him of engaging in a massive theft. Ooh. Using the player's money to place bets with an alleged illegal bookmaker that's under federal investigation. They had the go in, in the course of responding to the recent media inquiries, we discovered that Shawnee has been the victim of a massive theft and we are turning the matter over to the authorities. Oh, this is what they're saying. They're saying that um Let's see, the, the Otani's yeah, name surfaced in the investigation <clears throat> of a resident named Matthew Broner mm-hmm. and Missouri, the the bed placer. Right, right. Yeah. So he, he, he placed some bets. bets. And the team said they hit. And this guy's pretty much like a childhood. I don't know if he's right. childhood, but he's been over here ever since dude's been here. Right, right. So he's employed... I don't know if he gets his checks through Otani, or does he get his checks through the the club? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But Probably. he's part of the package. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So now this this guy sounds like this guy reportedly gave his account. Well, he gave his account into ESPN on Tuesday and said that Otani paid off gambling debts. Mm-hmm. Totaling four point five million, Ooh. but did not give him the money directly because he didn't trust his interpreter to, to not gamble it away. Right. So this is what the interpreter said. Right, right. So he's saying that Otani paid direct. Mm-hmm. Didn't give me the money. Paid the guy direct. Right, right, right. right. So got him. Placing the bet? No, he was covering his bets. He oh, had whatever his bets. bets. Oh, right. Okay. He was, yeah. But okay. so instead of me really like, I'm not gonna pay. I'm not gonna give you this right. money, June. I'm gonna give the man you owe the money. Right. Right. Because okay. I can't trust you. You might fuck off this. You keep money. going. You right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So. So that's what his side is saying. But now all of a sudden, Otani's side is saying no. Uh. Uh, they said that uh, they had no knowledge of his gambling activities. Mm. 
debts or attempts to pay them. He he is in the first year of a 10-year, $700 million contract. This is his first contract. I mean, this is yeah. his next contract, but he's got $700 million. God. Yeah. Wow. So, but my thing is, there's a couple things here. Right. First of all, why do you, why you got your interpreter able to take money? Right. From your account. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, unless you're, unless you're allowing, unless you're um, authorizing that. Right. You got to. You have to authorize it. Yeah. Right? Especially when you're talking about that kind of money. Or, right. Know, or access. Exactly. Yeah. And, and my thing is, is, was it Tony betting and then dude's just a scapegoat? I'm going to go with that one. You know what I'm saying? As far as somebody's got to go. Right? Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Because if they, because if it's Otani, you know, that's Pete Rose's status. Right. You see, he's still not even in the Hall of Fame, which is a shame. I think it's stupid. Mm -hmm. Especially now that you got, yeah, you can bet on anything. Anything, anywhere, online. It's acceptable. Right. 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 On your phone. Right. You so why can't saying? Pete, they should yeah, I'll let Pete Rose in. They should let Pete in, man. Yeah, I'm with you on that. They should let him they in. Let it, it, man. It's, it's ridiculous. At this point. Charlie Hustle was the man. Right. I mean, he... Oh, remember I said Steelers are trash. Oh, she said Russell needs, uh, Russell needs to retire and have a CC with the kids. <laughs> no, I hope CC with the kids. Right. Hey, that's funny, man, right? Oh shit! Oh my goodness! She said, "Imagine losing your job over parlay parlays." <laughs> man, were you crazy? Man, Real you had one job, just to interpret. Yeah, I know we got some folks up in here. Who else we got up in here? Yeah, put the mic up. Speak to mic up. up. Let us know who else is in here. Where are you? Where are you at? Where are you from? Y'all, y'all not even Come on, y'all on the tap. But, you know, people hey, don't forget, we got the uh, Mike and June line. We got the Mike and June line. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And then we also have, from our Facebook account, mm -hmm. we have a question from one of our... Uh, Is it a Mike, Dear Mike and June? Yes, it's a Dear Mike and June we posted uh, earlier this week. Uh, ba ba what? What? Let's see. Ain't nobody speaking up in here. Ain't y'all ain't speaking up in here. You don't want to be here. See how they do it. Hey, don't you forget to too, if you want to be a blessing to the, uh, if you want to donate to the Mike and June show to help us out. Uh, it's Cash App. Cash App. Mike and June show. That's right. it. M I K E A N D J U N X S H O W. The Mike and June show. The Mike Cash and June App. show. Cash App. And that helps us out. We've got some yep. stuff we want to do um, as far as equipment that we need. So any, anything and everything's uh, right. appreciated. Yeah. We're doing it this way versus standing out on the uh, exit of the uh, freeway and putting up his this little sign that said, Dollar for our cause. <laughs> okay, here it goes right here. Uh, hey, so if y'all going to write into Mike and Jill, write into us. At the Mike and June show at gmail.com. That's our email. Uh, to call in. And then, also, and then also, too, if you want to do it off of Facebook, send us a message on uh, yeah. Facebook uh, message. Indeed, indeed. Okay, go ahead. All right, here it is. My dilemma revolves around the interest in a much younger man, 22 dun, dun, dun. years to be exact. Who is a close friend of a family member? I'm concerned about potential repercussions and conflicts that may arise if the family member finds out about our interests in each other. Mm -hmm. Despite having common interests, I question whether or not I'm too old for the situation. I mean, I do feel young and energetic, but I wonder if I would embarrass myself or miss out on all the fun. Spriggs, what's up? What's up? We see you. We see you. I'm contemplating whether or not I should just go for mine or, prior to, or prioritize being honest with myself and make sure I'm not having a midlife crisis. Laughing out loud. Hell. Yeah. So, how much younger? 22 years. 20, oh, shit. Yeah. 
And they're probably in their 40s. 40s, let me count what? Shit. 18? Well, let's let's well let's just say they're both probably twenty one, or you know, let's say he's he's twenty one, so she would be forty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, forty. She'd be forty three well, or whatever. Well, I don't know. I mean, I I was in a long term relationship, and she was fourteen years younger than me. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I'm like this. If it's good to you, then it's good to you. Right. I mean, there's gonna always be repercussions, no matter if you in a relationship with somebody. Your own age. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you feeling each other, that's my thing. If you feeling each other and it's working for you, work it. Right. I don't really know. I personally don't give a clue what nobody said about who I'm dating. If you don't like it, you can take one of these, preferably the middle one, because it's I'm the one that's in it. Right. You know what I mean? If they're above age, you know what I mean? They ain't no, ain't we're no, adults. Yeah, we're adults. We're both above age. The family members don't like it. Well, then the family members don't like it. But. If it goes sideways, don't go back to the family members or whatever. Tell them, oh, you know, he did this or she did that. No, you can't do that. Right. You know, so, I mean, that's my, that's June's two cents on this situation. Exactly. Well, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. And, but my thing is, too, um, like anything with communication is key, right? Right. So, this is the situation. You need to communicate with your friend first. The so per, the the person that's connected to this to your, to love, the, your love interest, right? Because that's how you guys are connected, right? Right. So you want to talk to your homegirl mm -hmm. or, or and let her know, and let her, hey, like, I'm feeling, right? I'm feeling your cousin, mm -hmm. but before I jump into the pool, right, right, I just wanted to run it by. I want to see how you know run it by you. Not saying I need your permission. Right. I just want to know how you feel, because I don't want to have you in a, you know, what I'm saying in a messed up place. Yeah, in a situation yeah. because, like you said, if it goes wrong, the family's gonna go with dude. Right, they go on his side. Right, and and that could be and the it, only that, that grace. and that that could cut you and your friend off. Right, if it goes wrong. Right. If it's done, if it's not done right. Yeah. Yeah, that's, <clears throat> that doesn't make sense. Yeah. So you need to talk to your, your own girl. Tell her, hey, I got, I'm feeling Kevin or, you know Whatever. what I'm saying? Or, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, but before I, I jump out on impulse, <clears throat> mm -hmm. not to get your permission because I'm grown. Yeah. No, you know, you said just, just to provide you know, the information up front. But I, I I want to, yeah, and I, I want to know how you feel about it because right. if you feel a certain type of way, then we're gonna have to figure something out. Figure or, something out, yeah. or you know what I'm saying? Are we just gonna do it and say forget you anyway? But at least we told you, right? I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, because that's really what it comes down to. If if, if they feeling each other, then yeah, I'm with you on that. Yeah, you know then, what I'm saying? then you know, yeah, definitely feel the home girl in or whoever. Right. You got you, you got to put them in first because. Right. That's how you guys are connected. Right. And like I said, yeah. if something goes wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Something goes wrong. The then family's going to go on this side regardless, regardless of what he does. Yeah. You're right, man. It's a respect thing. Yeah. I, I, I'm with that. That doesn't make sense. But like I said, once you get into it, you just do right by each other and you know, hopefully it'll work out for you. I mean, that's. Right. And hang on just one second. Let's get our. Let's, uh, let's get another uh, <laughs> right. So anyway, that's my thing. That's my theory. You know, I, I'm all about. Hey, if it connects, run it. Everybody put their two cents in on it, and and you know, like I said, I was in a relationship that was she was 14 years younger. It worked out. Worked out. We are having guests in here. Takers, what's up, man? Tank's up in the building. Hey, Tank. Tank decided he's going to stop in on the set and say what's happening. Ooh, put the chairs All together right. so I can sit between the both of y'all. Tank, Tank. Okay, Tank. No, no, no. Go. You got to go. No, no, you just sit right there. Oh. Come on. Come on. I'm going to hate you. Hey, Tank. I'm doing good. Here we go. We got a new guest. Hey, hey y'all. <laughs> so what do you say about all of this? I, I, I don't know what the story is. Can you read? The story is, well, the story is, is the dear back in June about... 
the somebody dating somebody twenty two years younger than than scared mm. of the family's reaction and oh, and all that good stuff. Oh no. So oh, I just was like, hey, if it works, it works. So, to me, the age as long as everybody's above board as far as the age group. Well, you know though, um, Henry, it uh, for me it's the block at the time of the age. So right. like if you're. I don't know, 32 and they are 17 mm -hmm. or to me, that's a problem hmm. because they haven't fully <laughs> mentally <laughs> grown up and developed yet. Right. Okay. And they may have some daddy or mommy issues. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But like if you 52 and they 32, to me, that's a little different. I get that or yeah. above then. But was this person, the younger person, was it a family member or a friend's child that they knew? Did they mention no, that? No, they didn't mention it. Because sometimes just, that can be sticky. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's the friend. It, it, her friend's mm -hmm. child. relative. Her friend's relative. Like a cousin or something. Oh, but... So, they, and they have a 22-year... Age different, but they're flirtatious. It's a oh no, you know, it's a you, you could tell there's some chemistry there, right? Mm -hmm. So she kind of wants to pursue it, but she think it is this just like midlife crisis, or it can mess up her relationship with her friends, friends right? In that family, and that's know. what I was telling June was I think the best she needs to talk to her friend first mm -hmm. before pursuing it, pursuing because I said. You know, because family, they going to go with his side. If it, if oh, yeah. She's going to be that cougar, you know, panther or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, you're, you're a creep or mm -hmm. a freak. Why you want this young dude or young woman? This is this is a female that wrote in. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 No, she need to tread lightly with all that. Because even if she has that conversation with her friend that is... That's her cousin's child or whoever. Right. She, her friend may be like, oh, girl, okay, I'm, I'm cool with it or whatever. But the mama might not be cool with it. Right. Because as a, a mother that has a, a almost 35-year-old son, if he had, you know, if he, if one of my friends wanted to, right. my friend's relative wanted to get with my son, but this woman is the same age as me, mm -hmm. or I, I would probably have a problem with it. Only Why? because my if my child hasn't it's for me and as a parent ex experienced the world yet, you know, yeah. there's gonna be relationships or whatnot. Don't get me wrong, sometimes <laughs> things, you know, love at first sight, that shit hey, that's excuse me, y'all. No, that no, does sorry. happen. Mm -hmm. That right. does happen. But if this person hasn't really lived life yet, and here's this this old hag over here. Because her 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 coochie is got. Okay, some, okay. I'm okay. just saying she got some. But, but, but see, no, but then that's that's taking it to just your personal. Uh, uh, but that's endeavor. me. Right, right. You the being parent. But if you're the person in it, you. I'm saying that the people that are in it, this woman mm -hmm. and this young man. Mm -hmm. Now, this woman, if she is friends with his cousin or whatever. And let her know, hey girl, I'm feeling you a little cutty. Da, 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 da. I'm thinking yeah, I think about going feeling, blah. I think I'm thinking about me too, because of this and that. But you know, just to give you a heads up, girl, I, I think I'm gonna go with it. What whatever. do you think? What does that conversation look like? Right, but all? that's what. But the, then the friend. If if the the youngster and the, uh, the other the woman and the, the man, you know, whether they separate and they decide to go for it, really, is anybody gonna stop them? No, it's whatever you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. But I will say though too. But at, at least, at least you told the friend up front. Right. What was the going on? not backdoored. Right, and there nobody's um, sidetracked or you know. Yeah, and and like I've always, like I said, there's some underlining stories. There has to be. Uh, and, yeah. then, and then, and then, if it doesn't work, it's still all good if you did it, if you do it the right way. Right. But if you do it on the sneak tip and around around the family's back or or the friend's back. And then it blows up on you. Then you ain't got nobody. To you ain't got no. You ain't got no. No recourses to. Yeah, exactly. That's your you, you, yeah. 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 But I also, too, fellas, with that also being said, though, too, you know, I, this is just my own personal thoughts. <laughs> right. I just want to know. Just say this. 
because I literally just talked to a young man that was going through some things, <clears throat> and he's only 20 years old or whatnot, mm -hmm. and and he was in a relationship, they broke up, and she, you know, wants him back now, but she did some things and whatnot, but the mm -hmm. thing is, is that you're so young to be in this committed relationship, like, I want to be married damn near, when you haven't really lived yet, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, you haven't experienced other things. Now, to get back with this whole situation, like I told this young man, it's something about men, and I could, this is just me, but I just mm -hmm. believe this wholeheartedly. Y'all got to get something out y'all system when y'all in y'all early mm -hmm. um, 20s and mid 20s. Men just have this like rite of passage that they got to get out of, out of their system. Right. Till, until, you know, after that's over with, then y'all become serious about life and okay. I'm, you know, I'm not out here kicking it. Life is, right, you know, right. now mm -hmm. this is grown up real life shit now. Right. I got mortgages. I got kids now. Mm -hmm. You know, things like that come to play. But when you're so young and you haven't experienced things to learn from, and you don't know if this is really, you know, am I really ready for this? Because mm -hmm. unfortunately, we just live in a time now where people don't take marriage and what it means when you say I do seriously. It's so They're so quick to... Oh, you pissed me off today. I want a divorce. Right, well, I'm not with right. you no more. Okay, we're separated. So I'm going to be over here doing my thing with this person. Right. When we ain't got nothing finalized yet. But right. you, you know what I mean? Then you shouldn't mm -hmm. have went there. Right. When you right. know mentally, because it's one thing to be married or just being mm -hmm. in, enthralled with the idea of being married or in a relationship or a committed relationship. Right. If you feel like you ain't ready, just date. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Who knows if he just wants to hit it and quit it. We seen what happened with Vivica at fifty. Right, right. He was way right. younger than her mm -hmm. at the time. Look how that panned out. Right, right. Because he just wanted that old them old juices. Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe it wasn't the right. Maybe it wasn't right wording, but oh, oh, I'm just saying yeah. sometimes. That liquid diet. Yes, Rick says experience is always the best teacher. Mm -hmm. Get some experience first. Yeah, I, I mean, but where are you going to get the experience? Who said that? So you, um, I can't. Donnie Sp uh, Spriggs? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Dion. Yeah. Yeah. What up, Dion? What up, Dion? Family. Uh, but still, where are you going to get the experience? If you, the younger one, let's take the youngest person. Mm -hmm. Okay, they, they're they 22. Mm -hmm. I don't know about anybody else. They're 22. Nigga, I'd already had kids and some more. So I got experience. So if I get with somebody that's 40, hey, what this is what I'm looking for out of it. What I'm trying to, you know, let's get it, let's see what it is, da da da. Mm -hmm. But if you're still, if you're the younger one in the thing, where are you gonna get the experience from? Okay, but this is the thing though too. You're 22. Mm -hmm. Say she's 40. Yeah. Okay, so as a woman, mind you, I'm gonna tell you, we are emotional creatures. So right. when we, when I say I love you, I mean I love you. Whereas. Right. Oh boy, baby, yeah, I love you too. Just to get no, not Darnell off a thin line. No, yeah, no, I can see what you're saying. Not right. Darnell off a thin line. Yeah, but yeah, right. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> just yeah. to, won't you? You know, you gonna tell me what I want to hear? Just because I want to get to what I want to get from you. Right. But right. this is the thing. She may be, maybe she hadn't been with somebody for a long time. Mm -hmm. She heard she get caught up quickly, and she's wanting more out of this relationship. Sure. Whereas. He just thinking this is just a drive by, you know. He boom, bam, thank you, ma'am, type mm -hmm. thing. He ain't ready to settle down and be, be doing the, the uh, right. yard every week and right. doing, you know, honey do list and all that stuff. Right, right. So yeah. there's that thing where sometimes people emotions people that, get caught up. Well, that's it. That's mm -hmm. that's the communication part. Of right. It. If exactly. you're the older one, you know where you're at, mm -hmm. and you know you're dating someone younger. That yeah. probably hasn't experienced the stuff you experienced. Mm -hmm. So if the other one ain't being responsible as just a person, mm -hmm. per se, and say, okay, you love me, I know, but where are you looking to be in the next five years? You, you know, go. questions like that. Well, what are you doing? Okay, you want to be here, king on the top of the mountain with me or whatever, but what are, you, what are your plans or what have you thought about to get up here or to be that? Right. So you can kind of find out. Where this person is, it, again, if you're the older one and you're the one that has the experience, mm -hmm. because I've I've experienced couples that the younger one had more is mindful than the older one. There you go. So that's you know, it's kind of one of those things right. too. It's, that's why I say every to me, 
every situation is different. Yes. Every group, I mean, every group or couple is going to be different. Yeah. But whoever has the most uh, experience or sense or whatever needs to be asking those kind of questions right. so that down the road, there ain't no gunplay or no, oh, yeah, me and my family. Stop me. Oh, and all that. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you take that time out because you're caring about yourself first mm -hmm. and foremost, right, right, right. you know what I mean? And where I want, I don't want my emotions stepped on and hurt right. by this person, whether they're older or younger, and take that time in to ask those questions. Where are you trying to go or... You know what are you what are you thinking about this or da 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 right. because you because like you said you know, do you love me oh yeah I love you no damn well they don't love yeah, you exactly. no, they don't love you so mm -hmm. you know it's different ways you being open being through these experiences you could ask that same question and just put a different face on it right, right. you know what right. I mean so that right. they go down that path wholeheartedly and give you the answer that you're really looking for right and I'm only saying it's from personal motherfucking experience and that's the key me. word excuse my French y'all. Personal experience because you, right. you've been there, done that. I think we were. Yeah, but I've been, I've been the younger one. Why? Okay. I've been, I've been the younger. My but, girlfriend was twenty-five. Oh, yeah. I was sixteen. Right. Yeah. So, and I didn't know where the fuck I was going. Exactly. I didn't know nothing about it. But again, I'm asking her, "Why are you liking me?" And I used to, I used, I used to call him. Yeah. In high school, like, man, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> he's like you what know, are you doing? Because he's this dude is getting that from his friends. But go ahead, baby. I'm sorry. Because he, because he. Not going to school, you know what I'm saying? He's getting his sex he off. He's playing house. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, he's playing house. He's he being a grown man. Mm -hmm. and But he's still not a child. He's right. still a young man. He's still right. developing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, there's not, not after a while, I mean, I could I could only do so much. Just be right. here for your boy, whatever, right. whatever, however. Yeah. No, I would get on him. Yeah. I would get oh, on him. Oh, I would get on me on a regular. But that's what, what, that's what that, this young man is this going, this is what he's going to go through. Right. Because that's what your boys or your, your girls is going to say to you if you're the young one. Like, girl, why are you over there with that old ass man? Mm -hmm. What you doing? Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go, you know. Right. And, and you start, this, this, you know, separating yourself from your friends or the things that you used to do or whatever right. because right. you're trying to play grown. Right. But with that being said, because you went there and you've been there, done that, it right. sets you up to how right. you are now. Well, Dion just said too. Does anyone know if they want a relationship or do they just want to have fun? Yeah, or a situationship, exactly. Right, 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 so, that's true. right. Again, we're in a situation talking about stuff that all of us in, in any age group that's listening to this or whatever, mm -hmm. our questions are coming up. Mm -hmm. And these are questions that you ask. In order for it to be successful, whether it's just a hunt, like Dion was saying, or they want a relationship, or right. they want, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. these are questions that are going to come up. And me, if you're over. 18 if you're over 18 mm -hmm. then you know what you want you have an idea you know because they always say oh yeah you know how the world works you know that. no they don't have that experience yet but you have an idea of what you want out of life i would assume or you right? think you, you think, think you do no, right. right so you say oh well, this is the way to get it and you go down that road oh that ain't working right. let me back up and go down another path so to me that's what i'm saying the experience is is, shouldn't come in. Right. But if someone in these relationships, whether they be humping, is just a booty call. If it's a booty call, then there ain't no reason we even have this conversation. We know what it is. But if it's a relationship that's wanted, then questions need to be asked on both sides. And I'm just going, just for sake of, of society and things of that nature, I'm going to say is, is those questions should be coming from the older one. What do you but want? But the older one and you see the uh, mature. Right. Well, the, the younger one hopefully is mature enough for that boat ride to a You know, we are Henry. We live in a different time. Right, right. The the age or the generations now, and you know, I ain't putting no 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 sauce yeah, on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's just it's completely different because of what how we were brought up and right. what we were expected to know or what we were taught mm -hmm. at that point in time. Because you're right. At 18, you should kind of have an idea of what you want, but yeah. you, 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 you yeah, still but find you don't know your how, way. You might not only know how to get there either. But I'm glad you said you have an idea. An idea. Right. Yeah, you got an idea. Exactly. You know, but, the, but the thing is, you know, dude, even though that older person or that more level-headed, mature person should be asking those questions, but you know what? That younger person or the one that's immature, they... They really don't know how to, in some cases, know how to answer that question. Right. But if they you got experience, you know how to, 
ask those kind of questions with a different face to get that person to open up to that point. Right. But, I mean, again, but, I'm only speaking out of personal yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah. But this, I was always asking, like, where do you want to be in five years? Right. Oh, really? You, okay, okay. Well, how do you see that happening? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Does that involve something to do with me? Yeah, or is that something sure. within yourself? I mean, so, you know, again, out of personal experience, asking those questions. And again, in my case, when I was 16, she was 25, she was asking me the same type of thing. That's where I got the question from. Mm-hmm. Well, where do, you, where do you see you want to be? And you saw yourself in five years laid up. No, 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 I didn't. I said, I said, I, honestly, yeah, I saw so what did five years from, I said, I said, in five years from now, I see myself, you know, fully graduated from high school, probably going to some college, but I want to own my own business. I didn't say nothing about being up, laying up with her. No, no, I was just you know, saying, no, you, yeah, yeah we'll, that's we'll, what, we'll, I, that's what I said. She, you know, she had two kids at the time. I was a young man, I was 16. I was getting already praised. Oh, this thing called an old school bra, da, da, da. But I knew inside and had those conversations with her that, this ain't gonna be a forever thing. Right. You know, so, you know that. I know that. Oh, we got this gonna uh, be a let's go as we long got as we comment can. popping up while y'all talking. Uh, uh, we have a conversation. Uh, let's see. Right? Yeah, uh, that's what it is. It's a conversation. Yeah, Dion says, "Remember, I said they hump in the background." Terry yeah. Terry says, "Does anyone know if they want a relationship, right? Or do they just want to have fun? Is it for play, play? And that's the whole thing." <laughs> You know what I mean, and this is the thing. Because but even if it, even if you just want to have fun, that's one thing. But if you're gonna have fun, you don't you don't involve everybody. Then you don't even want to involve the right. The you, you should be having the conversation exactly. But this is the thing: is he just is he over here hollering at or flirting with this older lady because he just want to hit it? Right. But this is just a, a rite of passage for him, and he on to the next. Again, yeah, that makes sense man. for her to sit down and have this heart to heart conversation with her friend because maybe she's thinking like I said women we are emotional creatures mm, she may be thinking that oh this little young man mm. I could build a, a life with him or whatnot. you know does he want to have kids is she able to continue I mean to have kids at her age right. or what not or is her kids are she might already have them or her teeth mm-hmm. tied or what not right. there's right. so much just even you know and I'm not putting no religious fat no, no, yeah. faction on this or what not that's why the Bible does tell us you gotta make sure you are equally yoked with somebody. Right. Because you know right. it don't make no sense if I'm I'm red and you blue and we trying to make purple. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And right. don't get me wrong, I'm opposites of track, and I mm-hmm. mean I think me and you are the prime example of that because we are completely polar opposites. Oh. Right. And, and how we you know work out or whatnot. Right. Because at the end of the day, I can't be with somebody that's just like me, and I don't know if you want somebody that's just like you and right. you too. Yeah, I should know. But yeah. that's the thing. You know, if he ain't ready, she might be on a, a relationship thinking that this may be the one and this is her happily ever after. And he like, shit, I'm just not try- I'm trying to... Right, right. right. And that's, and that, that's that conversation going to come up. Yeah, that conversation is going to come up no matter what age right. you are. And that's Marilyn, my thing. Marilyn said, I think it's unfair to the younger person because more times than not, the older person is ready to settle mm-hmm. down and the younger one isn't. And it could be the other way, though. It could be the other way, around, Maryland, Because sometimes, I it mean, I've met younger be, people yeah. that are way more mature. And rock down there and rocking like that. Right. Down. And you got this older person that have been hit, scarred, or whatever, and they ain't mm-hmm. trying to take life seriously no more. And they just trying to have some fun out here. Right. And out here wrecking this person. Well, come on, y'all. Right. Y'all pipe in up on this. We got a bunch no, of folks up there. No, they popping in. They popping in. <laughs> yeah, it's the same folks. This some other folks. Jerry said, I had no idea at 18, like, none. I was wilding. You, yeah. you knew you was wilding. Well, like, seriously. Well, you thought you was not wild? Come on, T. We know at 18, we was tearing it up. But you know what's funny, though, you guys? is 18, even younger than that, back in our grandparents. Yeah, years, they was getting married and doing things at 14, and, 15 and, years and, old. Exactly. Right, right. They had kids, marriage, and all. You know, they was going to make them four or five. Right, four or five. But, but they knew how 18. to cook, clean, take care of themselves. Mm-hmm. And the average 18-year-old, they... I, we couldn't send. We can't send them out in the world like they are, like no, not now. right now. No, not now. You know, some of them don't even know how to boil water, and I'm not yeah, saying right. that You're as right. a no, general that's the truth. consensus. But that is the truth. They're not prepared, mm-hmm. and straight up, like my grandfather was 11 years old when he was out, out on his own. Mm-hmm. 11 years old. What 11 year old you know can go out there and and try to live and survive? Survive on your own. No, that no, ain't no, no help. That ain't any, no assistance. Any daily living skills. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No one. 
Yeah, I think, again, I think it's one of those things that I'm just going to say, because I've been on both sides of this fence. I really have. And I've had relationships on both sides of this fence. Mm -hmm. And it really just comes down to communication, period. You know, and if you're one of the people in it, you can pretty much tell if that person is really giving you the, the form. But you know what's sad? Are they Henry, fucking with you? One of the two. Is now that we, we again live in a time where we don't communicate with people. We're on these right. devices. We right. are behind these screens and mm -hmm. we're taking a picture and yeah, and shit. of this play person who I want you to believe I am, but then when I'm with you the in your face, I, it's completely different. different. Yeah. And so people don't know how to talk. And that's, and like you said, communication is the key. It's it. You that can't, it. And people ain't mind readers. If you don't tell me what you're feeling and thinking, exactly. I'm not going to know. And if I assume and it's wrong, Mm -hmm. then, then it's my fault? No, it's not. You got to talk to me as I talk to you. And that's, even if you're doing these characters, it's the dialogue. And if any, older or younger, you got to read what the hell or listen to what the hell this person's telling you. Mm -hmm. Because in so many conversations, they could be telling you, I just really want to get some dick and go and buy my business, but I'm going to hang with you for a minute. And if you're not listening... To what they're telling you in any way, shape, or how they're painting this picture. If you're not paying attention, then you're gonna be like, "Oh, well, the, no, no, no." You didn't say. Right, Did you right. see? I wasn't coming home till three or four in the morning, or I wasn't answering your call, or whatever it may be. And trust no. me, I've done it get? all. So what I'm telling you is, pay attention to what they're telling you, no matter how they're telling you. Don't worry about how they're telling you. If they in lingerie trying to tell you something or, you know, whatever, <laughs> right. pay attention to what they tell what you. They saying, what they saying. What they Listen. saying. But what I'm telling right. you, the old schools used to say, um, I know my grandma, rest in peace, grandma, right. I can show you better than I can I tell, tell you. you right. Right. Because words are can just can be, be words. Said, yeah. right. But right. your right. actions speak louder yeah. than your words. Pay attention and to yeah, all of them. If I'm telling you, oh, okay, you done called me, you know, cheating or whatever, baby, I'm sorry, I ain't going to never do it again. Or, you You're know. And that's the thing, because I know I can take, tell you what you want to hear, yeah, yeah. but as soon as you turn your, put that guard yeah, back yeah, down, yeah. I'm going to go right back to doing this, what and, I was doing. And, and, and uh, that's what I'm saying, pay attention to, to, again, what they're telling you. I ain't saying so much as even the words either. You got to pay attention to the See? whole situation. Yeah. But again, and you're not going to be more concerned about it if you're just in there just for the, the nooky nook. Right. But that's all you're concerned about. That's all you're concerned about. Yeah, I don't give a hell he, what he come and go or she come and go. I just give me mine. I'm good. You and know, some relationships are just built on that. You yeah. know where mm -hmm. as long as I'm kept, right. you can go out there and do whatever mm -hmm. hell you want to do. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with what it is. But at some point in time, the shit's going to change. Mm -hmm. And the relationship, somebody going to get Hurt. in their feelings. But, exactly. you know, that, again, that's when you get your experience. You got to go in with an open mind, a, a plan. Yeah. And I'm just saying for yourself. And pray that the other person's plan and their foresight it's works into what you want. Yeah, That's it. Absolutely. There ain't Warren nothing to guarantee. Warren out, y'all. Shout yeah. out to Warren. Hi, Larry Warren, White Guy. All right, man. All right, man. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> and then uh, we got a couple more. Uh, Terry and uh, let's see. Ah, these new joints, flimsy. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Marilyn said, communication is key, but you got to set boundaries before you jump into the water. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Right. You got that life jacket on. And mm -hmm. then she said, exactly, Jones. You had said something. And she's like, exactly. Right. You got to pay attention. Know where you're going. Yeah. If you know where you're going, then you, your travel should be all right. Man, if you want to take this tra this crazy train with me, then mm -hmm. let's roll. This hop on crazy. Oh, yeah, you look cuckoo, but that didn't look like fun. I'm going to jump on that's that's right, but if, You know, and then be like, oh, no, I got to get off the The brakes ain't working. Let me, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, let me see, the brakes ain't, ain't working. working. You take that lunch car a little too fast. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we got to yeah, just blow it down a little bit. I'm going to get off on this stop right Right, here. right. It was a good time to get by. Hey, hey. Ding, ski skirt. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember some the old, the old, uh, Remember some folks will be ding, 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 like, get the fuck off of here. Stop. Let's even try mad. Ding. What the fuck are you talking about, man? I want to get off here right now. All right, we're right. running the time, y'all. We want to thank y'all for watching the Mike and Jill show. show. We had Jay to come here just to give us another, you know, woman's perspective of it, too, because sometimes we be all guy up in this place. And we know we need a little bit of estrogen. No, just a little bit. Just, <laughs> a little bit to even it out for y'all. So go ahead and hit them with the uh, dummy of the week. 
and then we can get on out. All right, all right. We're going to give you the dummy of the week. Okay, dummy I'm, I'm going to let y'all. All right, you can go I'm, ahead. I'm going to check on now. Like, all right, y'all. Thank you for having me. Oh, you are always welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for <laughs> joining us. All right, the dummy of the week. The dummy of the week, y'all. Goes to Ryan Lee. I can't. Poffenberg. Okay, of Portland, Oregon. A man accused of stealing a large amount of cigarettes and alcohol from a convenience store was arrested after, after fleeing a scene in a stolen SUV, according to the Portland Police Bureau. At about 10 p.m., officers responded to a convenience store in uh, 6500 blocks of North Greeley Avenue, Portland. Uh, uh, police say the suspect fled the scene in a white Lexus SUV while which he stole after assaulting the driver. Wilding. Man, wilding big time. The suspect was later found by officers and tried to exclude, <laughs> tried to elude the, elude the police. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I couldn't help it. Uh, okay, so the police say he crashed into a curb and tore off one of the SUV's tires. The suspect then uh, tried to drive on the rim, but eventually jumped jumped out and ran ran off on foot. Officers searched the area and were able to, to safely take the suspect take in the suspect, identified as 37 year old Ryan Lee Proffenberg, into custody. The stolen merchandise and the SUV were recovered. By police, the criminal was booked into Multnomah County Jail on numerous charges, including unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, possession of a, possession of a stolen vehicle, first degree theft, eluding police, reckless driving, third degree robbery, and, and an outstanding warrant. So, to you, Mr. Poffenberg, Ryan Lee. <laughs> You get the dummy of the week from the Mike and June show. Dink, dink. All right. We got, we got Facebook birthdays. <laughs> he just stole everything. He's stealing everything. He stole the car. car. He needs some smokes. We got him some smokes. Drink. And drink. He ready to kick it in time. Oh, oh, the cops is behind me. Sounds oh, clear. he so. couldn't even open a cigarette or a bottle. He's in just chaos and dipshit. Sound like, uh, I'm sorry. Sound like 90 fruit back in the day. Oh, right? yeah, we well, ready in the day. <laughs> Yo, All right, y'all, we're going to end it out with this. The Facebook birthdays of the week. The Facebook birthdays. You want to shout out a happy birthday to Adrian Moore Warren. Adrian. Happy birthday. No love. No love. Happy birthday, love. girl. Uh, to my sis, Michelle Clark. Michelle. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy happy birthday. Happy birthday girl. We got my cousin, Beyonce Anderson. Beyonce. What's up, Cuddy? What are you, and about 35 now? I think, I think so. Yeah, him yeah. and Kel, yeah. yeah. And then Stanley Williams. Stanley. OG. Oh, Happy birthday to y'all. Happy birthday, y'all. Hope y'all. you had a good one. And Lord bless you with many, many more. And with all y'all, we going to say yay, yay. Have a great Saturday. Yeah. Enjoy it. Live every moment to the fullest. And if you're in a relationship, do the best you can. Read the signs. Do what you do. Have a good one from your boy. And I'm back. And it's on. Mikey June show every Saturday. Every Saturday, y'all. Three o'clock. Tell a friend, tell a kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to everybody out there that's showing us love. Only oh, getting better and better. Like I said, if you want to contribute, you want to donate, the cash app is cash app sign, money sign, Mike and June show. Just like it is on anything else. If you want to uh, donate, we appreciate everything from a dollar. To a thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? It's all gravy. All gravy. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. We're feeling the love. It is what it is. We appreciate y'all. So, yeah. We'll see y'all. I'll let y'all next week. Next week. Yay, yay. Hey. Give it down. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Y'all have a good one.
Love, peace, and hair grease. You know what I'm talking about? See ya. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> that was a choice.